Hello everyone, this is Vai Manoharadi, Department of Cyber Security, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I am going to explain you the concept of implementation of VPN. Implementation of VPN. So, Virtual Private Network. So, how to implement that in the point of IP security. So, VPN stands for what? Virtual Private Network. And it operates, it operates in the IP security two types of modes. It operates IP security in the two types of modes. So, one is what? Transport mode. And the second one is what? Tunnel mode. So, virtual private network, virtual private network is a communication system or a encryption system which is used as a public network, which is used as a public network. We can access the network, we can access the private network across public network. We can access the private network across public network. So, that means when you are using when you are using public network in the meme of a public network we are going to access privately we are going to access privately so that privately connected network is what this virtual private network that privately connected network is what virtual private network so virtual private network is an implemented for it is an implemented for accessing private network across public network accessing private network across public network and also you can say that what you can access the network privately across the public network you can access a network privately across the public network so that operates in two types of mode that operates in what two types of mode one is transport mode one is transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode second one is what tunnel mode. so transport mode in the transport mode the services the services are used to deliver from host to host host to host that may either local host or that may either remote host that may either are local host or that may either remote host so local host is nothing but what the user is operating here what the user is operating here but the remote host is what what other user is operating somewhere what other user is operating somewhere there that is the remote host so here delivering the services from host to host or host to network host to host or host to network so delivering the services privately delivering the services privately is called as in the transport mode is called as in the transport mode so here used to deliver the services from host to host or from host to gateway usually within the same network but can also be end to end across network so usually this transport mode applicable in the same network that is either if it is the lan is connected an organization then this transport mode will be occurs only within the lan but can also be end to end across network but also can be end to end across networks and the second one is what tunnel mode second one is what tunnel mode so here use it to deliver services from gateway to gateway gateway to gateway so or from host to gateway host to gateway so usually gateways owned by the same organization so Within the organization, they can use the routers or gateways, routers or switches or hubs as a gateway. So, the services are offered from both gateway to gateway or else gateway to host, gateway to host. So, that is nothing but network to network or network to host. So, delivering the services from network to network or network to host is called as tunnel mode usually it is uh, the owned by the organizations also and with an insecure network in the middle so they are using insecure in the network middle so at that moment they can use this vpn at that moment they can use this vpn so here the diagram shows that illustration of ip secure in transport mode ip secure in transport mode so this is the local host and this is the remote host or rem uh, other host so this local host is operated with the internal network internal network and uh, this remote host is uh, operated with the external host external network 
so this is used by another network and this is also used by another network so now the service is delivered from this host to host that may either local host this is this is a local host and this is a remote host so deliver the services from local host to remote host local host to remote host with the tcp encrypted tcc session with the encrypted tcp session so this local host is operated with some internal network and the remote host is operated with some external network but in between them they are delivering the services with the help of this encrypted tcp session they are delivering the services from host to host that is local host to remote host with the help of encrypted session encrypted tcp sessions and end to end security between two hosts so this encrypted tcp session provides end to end security tcp encrypted session provides end to end security so that these two can have the guarantee of providing the security between those two systems so typically client to gateway example pc to remote host that is what we mentioned here and requires ip secure support at each and every host at each and every host ip secure in tunnel mode ip secure in tunnel mode so we already said that what tunnel mode operates for delivering the services from gateway to gateway or network to network we can call it as network to network security so internal traffic behind gateways not protected so internal traffic behind gateways are not protected but typical application which is example as virtual private network virtual private network so they requires only ip support ip secure support at gateways ip secure support at gateways so here we can see this is the corporate network this is corporate network a and this is corporate network b and this is also corporate network c and this is also corporate network d so now all this all these hosts are connected together and they can use the services delivering from gateway to gateway not from host to host so they are delivering the services through gateway to gateway so here from here from here from here or else from this to this or from to this to this so or uh, each and every each and every gateway is connected with another gateway each and every gateway is connected with another gateway so that the gateway is secured with ip secure the gateway is secured with ip secure support so now all this all this local area network all this internet is accessible only for the uh, securable channels only for the securable channels that is only for the gateways only for the gateways now they can able to send the messages or they can able to deliver the services from this host to network or network to network so host to network or network to host or network to network so like the way the tunnel mode operates for delivering the services from gateway to gateway or network to network or network to host network to network or network to host so this is what some what difference we found in between the tunnel mode and the transport mode so services are offered to deliver from host to gateway then gateway to host or else you can say that directly gateway to gateway or network to network so this is all we can call it as what network so the services from network to host or host to network and also network to network so here the tunnel mode illustration which is uh, having the tunnel security association tunnel security association he is the, this is the local host and this is the remote host this is the remote host and this is the local host local host and local host is connected with local intranet and this remote host is connected with the local intranet from a remote location now if these two wants to connect if these two wants to connect the local host with the remote host they can use the services as gateways they can use the services as gateways to deliver the services so now the host to gateway 
it delivers the service from host to gateway. Host to gateway. Then next uh, gateway to gateway. Delivering the services from gateway to gateway. Then next gateway to host. Gateway to host. So through this gateway, they are not directly connected because they are connected with the tunnel SA tunnel mode. They are connected with tunnel SA Security Association of Tunnel. They can able to transfer the data to this gateway. They can able to transfer the data to this gateway. Then next gateway to this host. So like the way the services are delivered. So IP secure protects communication on the insecure part of the network. So this is what insecure part and this insecure part is secured by this tunnel security association. Tunnel is security association. So this is the way we can understand that insecure part which is which is delivering the services for gateway to gateway. Insecure part is going to be secured by this tunnel SCA. Secured by this tunnel SCA. And here the tunnel mode can be used to implement as a secure virtual private network. So the tunnel mode used to what for, for implementing virtual private network. So a virtual private network is a private network that is configured within the public network that is configured within the public network. In order to take advantage of the economies of scale and management facilities of large network. Advantage of what? Economies of scale and management facilities of large network. So virtual private networks are widely used by enterprises, widely used by enterprises to create wide area networks, to create wide area networks that span large geographic areas, that span large geographic areas. That, that means they are covered, they are covered all the areas with the private network to provide site to site connections to branch offices, to provide site to site connections to the branch offices and to allow mobile users to dial up their company lands and mobile users to dial up their company lands from the point of view the pro, pro, point of view of the provider the public network facility is shared by many customers right with the traffic of each customer segregated from other traffic so at that moment public internet public internet is accessible to all the users all the users user 1 user 2 user 3 so that all the internet is shared to all the users shared to all the users that is segregated from the traffic and this traffic designated as vpn traffic uh, traffic designated as vpn traffic can only go from a vpn source to destination in the same vpn those who are using vpn virtual private network they can access privately from this public network. It is often the case that encryption and authentication facilities are provided for the VPN. So in the process of encryption process and authentication facilities, for these two facilities available, the people can use this virtual private network across public network, across public network. So, the main aim of virtual private net network is what to use the private network use as a private network use the network as a privately across public network across public network so in the public network they can access privately so that private network is what virtual private network and they can configure itself in the mobile devices also here you can see the implementation of VPN. So here the user systems with IP secure, user systems with IP secure and this is the public internet or private network. This is the public internet or private network. So public or private network. So which you can access as a VPN, you can access privately or else not normal user, you can access as a public network. So those who are using, those who are implementing virtual private network, they can access privately. But those who are not implementing virtual private network, they can use, they can access only public network. So here, 
the systems the systems are uh, configured with the servers the systems are accessible mm -hmm. and these systems can be used as a network from these gateways from these gateways so here this is the local hosts or remote host and the ethernet switches are there and then network devices with ip secure these routers you can call it as routers routers or somewhat switches or somewhat hubs you can call it as anyone but these two network devices are configured with ip secure these two network devices are configured with ip secure so ip secure means it indirectly it indirectly provides authentication as well as authentication as well as confidential authentication as well as confidential that means it it provides the network for only authenticated users those who are registered user those who are authenticated user and for them the private network is to be confidential for them the private network is to be confidential so the switches are going to distribute the network to these systems and from this router it is going to be distributed and these networks these devices are connected with uh, these networks are connected with uh, network public network these devices are connected with the public network so in the public network this this indicates that virtual this indicates that what virtual tunnel protected this one is what virtual tunnel protected so they can able to provide they can able to deliver the services from this gateway to gateway this gateway to gateway so the services are offered delivering the services from gateway to gateway not host to host so host to gateway or gateway to gateway so now gateway to gateway services are provided so that this all this all indicates that what virtual tunnel mode protected by ip secure and this indicates that what ip traffic protected by ip secure ip traffic protected by ip secure and these are what unprotected lines unprotected ip traffic so now once this this configured once this virtual private network is implemented then automatically you can access this entire public network as a privately as a private network channel as a private network channel so this is the way you can implement the virtual private network to deliver the services from gateway to gateway or gateway to host gateway to gateway or gateway to host but not for the host to host but not for the host to host so from that figure uh, the tunnel mode can be used to implement a secure virtual private network a secure virtual private network a virtual private network vpn is a private network that is configured within a public network that is what we said so in that figure shows that ip secure tunnel mode for implementing virtual private network so ip secure tunnel mode this is the tunnel mode he is implementing for virtual private network an organization maintains lands at dispersed locations an organization maintains lands at dispersed locations non secure ip traffic is conducted on each lan so non secure ip traffic so this is the non secure ip traffic is conducted on each lans each lans for traffic off site through some sort of private or public network ip secure protocols are used ip secure protocols are used these protocols operate in networking devices these protocols operate in network devices such as router or firewall that connect to each lan to the outside world that connects to each lan to the outside world the ip secure network devices will typically encrypt and compress all traffic going into the internet all traffic going into the internet or other network and decrypt and decompress traffic coming from the network all other network they can able to encrypt as well as compress and also while coming out from the network they can decrypt and decompress the traffic these operations so those two what encryption encryption and compression is for what incoming and decryption decryption and decompression is for out outgoing 
outgoing this is for incoming and that is for outgoing so these operations are transparent to workstations and the servers on the lan secure transmission is also possible with the individual users with the individual users such user workstations must implement the ip secure protocols to provide security ip secure protocols to provide security so ip secure tunnel mode for implementing vpn that organization maintains lans at dispersed locations non secure ip traffic is conducted on each lan so for traffic off site uh, it's sort of public or private network so that is what we uh, we discussed ip secure protocols are used so these protocols operate in networking devices such as routers firewalls that connects to each lan in the world so the the main process is what encryption and compression for incoming purpose and a decryption and a decompress for what for outgoing purpose for outgoing purpose and here transport mode versus tunnel mode so how you are going to operate how you are going to operate the transport mode versus tunnel mode so transport mode secures packet payload and leaves ip header unchanged so transport mode secures what packet payload and leaves ip header unchanged so ip header could not be changed but packet payload can be changed and that that provides the security for the packet load and here we can say that ip header ip header ip ip before header then next tcp header plus tcp data ip header tcp header and tcp data so this is what actual ip format so in the tunnel mode it operates for what ip header real destination and ip secure header and the tcp udp header plus data tcp udp header plus data so this is both combined in the transport mode but in the tunnel mode it encapsulates it encapsulates both ip header it encapsulates what both ip header and payload into one ip secure packet so ip header plus payload ip header plus payload equals to ip secure packet so ip secure packet so this this says that what it uh, operates in the tunnel mode it says that what it operates in the tunnel mode ip secure ip secure packets is what ip header plus payload it contains so here the ip header gateway ip secure header ip header real destination and tcp udp header plus data tcp udp header plus data so this is what uh, we have to understand from both the transport mode versus tunnel mode transport mode versus tunnel mode so here the use cases use cases of the summaries what are the services what are the transport mode what are the modes that are available for implementing that vpn so one is what transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode so here the use cases delivering the services what the host to host connection is what secure connection with the tcp encrypted session with the tcp encrypted session the host to host host to host is maintained with the security services with the maintained with the secure connections with the help of this tcp encrypted sessions so delivering the services from host to host h2 host is called as what a transport mode it is called as what transport mode similarly delivering the services from this host to gateway or gateway to gateway or gateway to host so three ways one is what a host to gateway or gateway to gateway or gateway to host but not directly from host to host so this this services are offered these services are offered in the tunnel mode tunnel mode so one is what host to gateway or gateway to gateway or gateway to host and this last one is what uh, secure tunnel so this is also tunnel mode secure tunnel mode which is offered from both host to gateway host to gateway or gateway to ga host so host to gateway or gateway to host
So this operated in tunnel mode. So these are the ways of operated in the IP secure modes for implementing uh, for implementing VPN. So IP security modes that operated for that operated for implementing that operated for implementing implementing VPN virtual private network virtual private network. So this is all about this virtual private network. Once again, we revise the topic which we discussed in this session. So first of all, what is meant by mods, IP secure mods. So the mods are operated for implementing the VPN. One is what a transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode. One is what a tunnel transport mode and the second one is what tunnel mode. So tunnel mode and a transport mode. Those two are only for the delivering the services in between both host to gateway or gateway to gateway or host to host. So here the virtual private network is indicating for accessing the private network across public network. So here we can see IP secure in transport mode, IP secure in transport mode. So how the services are offered in between the both host to host. So that host to host services are offered, delivered with the encrypted TCP session, encrypted TCP session. And here tunnel mode. So the tunnel mode delivers the services between both channel to channel, that is gateway to gateway or gateway to host, gateway to gateway or gateway to host or host to gateway. Three ways they can share the services. And tunnel mode illustration. So to IP secure protects communication on the insecure part, the insecure part is going to be secured with the help of some tunnel security association channels. The next, uh, the virtual private network. So here virtual private network implemented with the help of IP secure tunnel mode for operating for accessing these two, these two remote hosts are local hosts. So all the LAN configured local hosts are implementing this tunnel mode for uh, implementing the VPN concept implementing the VPN concept and this is all about the th tunnel mode operations with the VPN virtual private network and the difference is what uh, transport mode versus tunnel mode. So transport mode contains what the sec it secures packet payload and uh, leaves IP header. So it leaves IP header it, it secures only packet payload but tunnel mode encapsulates both IP header and payload both both together is into IP secure packets, both together into IP secure packets. And the last use cases delivering the services host to host in transport mode, host to gateway or gateway to gateway, gateway to host in tunnel mode, as well as host to gateway or gateway to host in tunnel mode. So this is the way of implementing virtual private network across the public network implementing virtual private network is only for meet of accessing the private network across public network accessing the private network across public network so this is all about to implementation of vpn thank you all like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates